Welcome to Word Chapter 1. In this chapter, we're going to be creating documents with Word. We'll be doing three chapters of Microsoft Word, and in each chapter, you will learn a specific feature. And this one is just getting started. I'm going to show you a couple of things before we get started, however. If you're using a paper book, the way to find the chapter in the book, which is not page numbered from 1 to 1,000, is to find the blue edged pages here. And there will be three sets of them in your book. And we want the first set of blue edged pages. If you're using the ebook, you'll go through the table of contents. Probably it will be on the left side of your screen. And you'll go down past the beginning chapters that we don't do for this class and you'll come to the Microsoft Word chapter and we'll want Microsoft Word Module 1 creating and modifying a flyer. The way the ebook works is that the page numbers are listed by sections rather than 1, 2, 3. It's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to do in this chapter. I'm going to flip over until I get to pass the objectives, which are always good to read, by the way. I never did before, but it's a good thing to do. Until we get to the beginning of the chapter, and I'm going to go just a little bit more yet. See each little section, this is WD1-2, each little section has its own page numbering system. And now we're at section WD word 1-3, picture with a flyer with a picture, by the way. F-L-Y-E-R is a preferred British spelling, you know, of the word, whereas F-L-I-E-R is a preferred American spelling of the word. And so whichever one your teacher uses, they're both correct. Oh, well, what are you going to do? And then when you're in this chapter, you're going to scroll down until you see the actual flyer. You will make this. Some students ask, well, am I supposed to make one like that? No, you make that one. That's the exact one we want you to use. <clears throat> and it's uh, going to have certain features in it. I'm using Control Plus on my computer to make it larger and easier to see. It's going to have a certain title with formatting. So you'll learn how to make the headline with formatting. You'll learn how to set up page borders Although, depending on which version of Microsoft Word you're using, you may uh, have to use the VDI here at Mott in order to get access to it. Your teacher will tell you what they plan to do. And then there's body copy, which is just text with certain formatting, like this is a numbered list, and here are some bolded words, and this text has been centered. And then you'll learn how to insert a graphic. Your teacher will tell you how to get the graphics for your class. And then you will learn to format that graphic so it looks prettier. And again, down here, we have a bulleted list instead of a numbered list. And finally, at the bottom, we have a centered line with an, uh, a signature line with a URL address to a web page you're going to make that exact thing for this lesson. And then your teacher will tell you what assignments to do after that to continue. There's one more thing you have to know about every first chapter, first lesson of a software program. So Word 1, Excel 1, Access 1. There's something you have to know about each one. And you can find it in the instruction in the table of contents here. Remember, we had to go down a, a little ways past the introduction to see the picture of what you were going to make. Okay, in this table of contents also, notice that they start by telling you how to open Word, what the ribbons look like, how to create a new document. If you haven't ever used the software before, this is very valuable. However, it doesn't tell you what to do. And so the thing is, when you are ready to start doing the lesson, you'll have to find in here, it's Word 1-5. OK, I, I know that because I looked. And so you're going to actually enter text in the document.
And so that was the introductory part. That's Word 1-5, OK? You're going to learn to under text in a document. Thank you. And now the, the skill that you're going to do, it says how to type text. And now do you see the little orange rectangle with a number in it? In the old book, I don't, I, we haven't seen the new book yet. We're making these without having seen the book. But I think the paper book will be just like the e-book, I think. I don't know. Uh, in the old paper books, they were a red ball with a number. And in this version, it's an orange square with a number. But anyway, you look for that. And it will say, type, wash your hands, exclamation point. And at that point, then it will show you, it tells you what to do in words. And it shows you pictures about what to do and what your mouse pointer should look like and so on. And it also adds like questions and answers and little tips and extra information for you. You say, what do you do if you have a touch keyboard? Well, if you're working on a, on a um, Chromebook, that might be true. But you'll do that, do that, what it says. And then in this one, it says, oh, we're going to change the zoom to page width. OK, so how do you do that? And here's the step to tell you what to do. And it will tell you, click this, click this. This one isn't typing. It's just clicking. So then you do that. And it has an extra information. And each piece of the lesson is designed that way. So if you can't find out what to do, don't worry. It's just not at the beginning of the chapter in Word 1. In Word 2, it will be, but not in Word 1. Lots of students get confused by that, and I don't blame them. Anyway, you can have fun with this, I think, because you will know some of it already. But everybody learns something in this chapter, even if you know a lot about Word. Have fun with it. You'll enjoy it.